Hello everybody out there, Chris here, and welcome back to another comic book review, and in this review, I will be talking about Rocket Raccoon issue number 20, no, number 2, I almost said issue number 20, way too far in advance. So issue number 2, guys, first of all, I have to say this before I get into the book, either, when it comes to Rocket Raccoon, either you're a fan of the book or you're not, Scotty Young is the artist who does this book, um, it is along the lines of a more humorous book, it's not completely and utterly serious, but at the same time, the story is enjoyable enough that it makes me want to continue to buy this book. Is it spectacular, earthbending stuff like in Star Lord? No. But it's fun enough that you want to read it. <clears throat> so Rocket gets arrested, and he wants to be put in a high security prison. The prison is called Devon 9. So he's now on Devon 9. Why is Rocket so easily, why is he letting himself get put into the high this high prison jail because he, he needs to meet up with this guy I forgot his name <clears throat> and this guy is gonna take him to another guy who's going to find out who this person is from Rocket's race and somehow find a way for them to meet up and to prove that Rocket was framed of course so in the jail it turns out we find out that there's a little splinter in Rocket's mouth and for those of you that can't guess already where this is going, yes, Groot shows up. And I don't know why, but every time I hear I am Groot now, I think back to Brant doing the I am Groot thing on his own form. But anyway, thanks to Groot, Rocket Raccoon makes his grand escape with his, little, with his partner. Um, I want to see if I can get his name, but not. Funsel. He needs to see Funsel. So he wants this guy to take him to Funsel so that Funsel can help him find um, find the person that framed him. So Rocket, Groot, and this guy escape. Um, and it turns out the person that framed Rocket wanted Rocket to suffer in that prison. And the warden was uh, with this person. We don't know who this person is yet. And because the warden failed, the warden is now dead. And in the end of the book, we got Rocket being confronted by every single person he's ever dated and left behind. Yeah, things don't look like they're going so well for Rocket. And it's to be continued right there in the middle of the uh, fight. <clears throat> like I said, guys, it's an enjoyable read. Is it groundbreaking? You must read this story? No. But I have faith that, you know, it's the first story arc. Maybe even the second story arc will be a little bit like this. But then things, you never know. I mean... Writers, artists change constantly in comic books. If Rocket Raccoon, Raccoon continues, I'm sure Scotty, excuse me, Scotty Young won't be sticking on this book the entire time. Or they might just have Scotty Young on the book, and when he's done, that's the end of the book. But I really do enjoy the book. It's a fun read. I would say it's an average read of about three stars. So it's about a three-star book, but it's worth the three stars, and it's an enjoyable read. And it's something I think that all you guys will enjoy reading, if you're a fan of Rocket Raccoon. If you're not a fan, then you don't have to worry about this book at all. And that's it for this review, guys. So, as always, don't forget to check out Comic Related, Comic Frontline, and Zone4Podcast.com. Together we get a more and source of Comic Related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Updating daily, so if you're not subbed already, guys, please do. This way you don't miss out on a single video or a single article on Comic Frontline or Comic Related. And until next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in the next video.